today is a very muddy trail run. It's literally been raining all yesterday and all today, more or less. And I saw a bit of a window in the weather that said it was going to stop raining around lunchtime till about 4 pm. So I decided I'm going to come out and do a 10 or 11 mile run just in between the uh, rain if I can. Luckily, the weather were right, it has stopped raining, but obviously it means the ground is very, very wet and very muddy. So I've got the waterproof socks on, giving them a go. So far, they're pretty decent. My feet are still dry and I've been in some fair muddy puddles. We'll see how far we can go before they get wet. And I'm also a little bit late this week putting a video up because on Wednesday, I was meant to go for a long run but we had a load of flat pack furniture delivered that my girlfriend bought and it took me from about 10 in the morning till about 8 p.m. to put it all up and I'm not joking you I were aching more God this is wet I were aching more doing that than I do on any run I've ever done I don't know how I'm going to get through this it's so wet I might have to go this way Go around it. But still, it's like a bloody river. Should have gone on the other side, shouldn't I? Oh shit. Probably should have gone on that side. Forgot to start my watch again anyway. Alright, let's go back and go back round. This is one of the only problems is it being so wet and horrible. And that's like a river down there, so I can't get that way. Bloody hell. Oh well, let's test these waterproof socks out, shall we? All right, so that was a deepish puddle. It didn't come to my ankles, so it didn't go over the top of the sock, but it went in my shoe, and my foot is wet through. I were bigging up these socks, saying that they were doing all right, but literally anything more than a bit of a splash, and my foot is wet through, so. Maybe waterproof socks aren't the way to go. Maybe just regular socks and just let them dry out as I'm running, maybe. Let me know in the comments below if you guys wear waterproof socks or waterproof running shoes. Or do you just get wet and let them dry as you're running? Especially at long distance runners. I can feel the water squelching inside me at a sock. So it's gone through and feels like it's just staying in the sock, more or less. I'm out of the uh, muddy part now. I mean, it's still a bit muddy, but nowhere near as bad as it were up there. So like I was saying, my plan today is to do about 10 or 11 mile. I think it works out about 11, but I will put the Strava link to the route or my profile in the description below, as someone suggested in one of my previous videos. So that'll be a good idea. So if anyone lives close by and they like the look of the route, they could possibly check it out themselves, I guess. This is Widdop Reservoir. You've probably seen this route a couple of times if you've been watching any of my videos, because it's one of my regular routes that I do when I'm on a long run. And I'm looking forward to running this in the summer because it's really nice in the winter. So I think the summer's gonna uh, bring out the most of it, to be honest. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm also looking forward to, once the weather gets a bit better, driving to some different places 
finding some new routes to run. I have a couple in mind that I'm going to be going to soon and taking the GoPro along with me. Jelly babies. I'm not 100% sure if I really need to fuel on a 10, 11 mile run. If I do half a marathon, I usually take a couple of gels with me, but I'm not sure if it's a bit overkill to do that for a 10, 11 mile run. So what I usually do is just bring some jelly babies and then just fill my bottles of water up. One's got an electrolyte in and one's just got water in and the reason why I put the electrolyte in because I heard or read somewhere that if you get headaches after your longish runs it's good to drink like an electrolyte drink or a drink with electrolytes in it so I bought some of the uh, science in sport I think it's called electrolyte tablets and I just shoved one of them in the bottles of water seven miles in so we've got about four miles to go and as for the waterproof socks go my feet are absolutely drenched and I've only been stepping in shallow puddles really. It's not been anything too deep. So I think I'm gonna scrap the waterproof socks and just wear regular ones. Probably be uh, a bit more comfortable that way. So my next race is the Great Manchester running May, towards the end of May that is. But I'm thinking about seeing what other races there are before that, maybe a 10K, or possibly half a marathon and um, booking one of them if I'm off work that is because a lot of these races seem to fall when I'm at work speaking of races is there anyone watching this video that will be doing the Great Manchester run half marathon in May because if you are I might see you there I doubt it because it'll be really busy but you never know all right we're back to the big rocks almost we just have to make it up there So that's the 11 mile run finished. A very muddy 11 mile. The rain held off, thank God. So at least I didn't get totally wet through. I just got muddy. But as far as them socks go, I don't think I'll bother with them again. Gecko wear, I think they are. I got them in the Black Friday sale, I think, if I remember rightly. Just trying to avoid the mud here. And they may be all right for extremely light rain like a slight drizzle but when it comes to any type of puddle it kind of just goes straight through and your feet get wet anyway like my feet are soaking now i know it was very wet up there but the puddles didn't go over my ankles so they're only like an inch or two deep maybe so it probably just went over the soles of my sh running shoes i think i'll be better off just wearing regular sort of running sh uh, running socks like the under armor ones i've got and if they get wet just letting them dry out mid run so that's the socks anyway i give them a two out of ten as for nutrition goes like i said i've just been having a few jelly babies along the way 
In fact, a full packet of Jelly Babies, but we won't tell anyone about that one. I'm not sure if it's necessary, but I do it anyway, because it doesn't seem to do any harm. Seems to keep me going. About a litre of water I take with me, if, any, if I'm doing like anything above 10 miles. Again, probably a bit overkill, I probably don't need that much. But 500 mils has got electrolytes in, which seems to solve my headache problem. And the other 500 mil is just water. I probably don't need all that, but I figure I'm gonna be taking that on the marathon that I do in August. So might as well get used to having it on me and carrying the extra weight, if you will. But anyway, that's it for this week's video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much to all the people that have subscribed so far because unbelievably we're at 75 already. I can't believe it. I well didn't expect to get uh, anybody subscribing so quickly. So thank you very much. I appreciate you subbing and I appreciate you watching the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good week.